I went, no, did your hello there. I was like, I can't do that. I was like, no, I didn't know. That's yours. That's copyright, yours. copyright. Copyright. <laughs> Oh, I need to figure this out as I'm going along, so, oh, whatever. Hello again. Uh, oh, what are we doing? I'm interested. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> Hello again. I'm Fangle Spangle, and this is my channel, Fangle Spangle. And today I am with Torathena again. Hello! Hello. <laughs> and we're going to try and play some more Conkers, because it, it ended so well last time. I think it's as good as it's going to get with this This is game. as good as it's going to get. So, borrowing bank. So yeah, it uh, basically respawn wherever I die. So if it looks like I'm going to do something dangerous, save. Yeah, I kind of, I do like that you have that. But even the N64 game doesn't give you that option. Yeah. Right, I genuinely want to see what the hell happened. So, save. Yeah, why did you die? I don't know. I don't know if I needed the Aztec keys and as such it just went, nope. Too soon. No, this wasn't the Aztec keys. This that was the other one. What? I don't know. Are you moving or anything? Oh, what's a second ago? Oh dear. Oh thank God. So yeah, I think I need a light or something. Ah, maybe. Although I'm about to die again if I'm not careful. Okay, so... Oh, that ah! was... <laughs> I think it just proves how you are not careful ever. <laughs> uh, I hate that I can't kind of press this through the, the start-up nonsense. It's really got to rub it in. So tell us a bit about yourself, Fangle. Uh, How long have you been a gamer? All my life. All your life? Pretty much all my life. What's actually. your favourite game? Oh. Uh, at the moment, probably Dark Souls 1. But Maybe. not Dark Souls 2. No, that game is evil. Yeah. And wrong and bad. There, there was a week where he just played the game. And he was. I was like, you enjoying it yet? And he was like, no, I hate it. <laughs> and I was like, why are you playing that? And he went, I have to figure out why I hate it. Uh, to be fair, I... I think I figured out why. I don't think most normal people care, Andrew. They just know they don't like it. Well, that's... Or it doesn't take them a week to figure it out. <laughs> I hate this game because it's rubbish. But no, uh, no, how long have you been gaming anyway? Why? So been gaming. Well, if you if you count playing video games since I was little too, because like I had my Am my sister's Amstrad and Mega Drive and Master System and all that. Yeah. yeah. But then. Um, but real, like where I took gaming, like on a hobby level, where I that was, like I really like, was into the latest games and I catch up with everything. Since I was about fifteen, what my boyfriend at the time thought he was a bit of a gamer, introduced me to Half Life on my PC and Unreal and all that. And, uh, Unreal, seriously? Yeah, I remember it was a big deal. That Unreal Tournament two thousand and four came out. This game's good. <laughs> <laughs> No, I remember Unreal Tournament coming out. I really yeah. enjoyed that game. And it was a big deal because only one of our friends had a PC big enough to play it with the proper graphics. Oh, so we were yeah. all going around to his house to watch it. <laughs> just, just to watch it. Just I love that. It. Oh, dear. Oh, excuse me. So what game, like, when you were 15, like, did you have a PC and you were playing it on Yeah, that? I had a so. PC. It was, like, the first PC I had. But my dad, and my dad spent, like, 500 quid on it. But it was actually a really good PC, like it lasted for 10 years. Wow. Um, and, it, you know, I didn't realise at the time, because I wasn't into games, but it was quite a good PC and it would play nearly every game I wanted it to play. Yeah. That's pretty good going, fair days. It was for Dell. Oh, <laughs> hey, that's pretty awesome. I didn't get into PC gaming uh, for quite a long time. There. I did so only I because I didn't have a console. Once I got a job in game and I discovered I could buy a PS2 and it got a 360, that oh, was it. Yeah. I didn't touch PC gaming. I didn't even ha I didn't even use a laptop or a computer for years. Like even for Facebook and stuff like that because it just wasn't a big thing for me back then. Actually, at that point in time, was Facebook even a thing? It was a. Uh, it was just becoming a thing. Like people, I was using it when I first got a job in game, but not a lot. Hmm. I was still using MySpace when I got a job in game. God, I remember MySpace. Bebo as well. I was using that a lot. 
Only children and paedophiles use Bebo, so well, which one I were you, Andrew? <laughs> was a little older than a child. How old was I? Well, I was 19 when I got a job in game, Andrew, and using MySpace while you were using Bebo. I met Fran. I must be 22, because I met Fran through Bebo. Did you really? Yeah. Ah, so everyone thought you two were paedophiles. <laughs> and to be fair, it's quite worrying because she's like five foot and does look twelve. <laughs> Four foot eight and a half. Let's <laughs> All right, just, let's sorry. just get this right. <laughs> but, she's uh, not even five foot. No, she's four foot eight and a half. Paedophilia <laughs> like, isn't a height thing. <laughs> it helps. <laughs> Do you ever see six foot five year olds? No, no. Andrew, let's just... <laughs> I have to think about that one. <laughs> also, I generally don't know where I'm going. I don't either. I think we're going to the spooky place. Hey! No! We're at a place. Is this the old what's, barn? What does something? the sign say? I just had to grab a, a, a coconut. You need eight presents to enter the old barn. Eight I got one! I got one! Why do I need to give you my presents? You need eight presents to enter here. Barn kicks me out. What a piece of... Ooh, acorn. So what was the stuff you got with your PS2, anyway? Ah, uh, the first game I think I bought with it, oh, it was Beyond Good and Evil. Oh, that's a good game, actually. It's, it's a fantastic game. And I was always after getting this Fahrenheit game. Oh, yeah, I'm familiar with that, yeah, yeah. No, I played it. Oh, it's really good. It's kind of like Heavy Rain, but, you know, with worse oh, graphics. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of that one, yeah. Mm. Well, I knew I'd heard of it, but yeah, I've, someone's mentioned that to me, that it's like Heavy Rain. I yeah. Need I need to check it out, actually. I used to have so many, because I got discount and stuff, it just... I didn't realise just how big my game collection had got. Yeah. And then I sold everything. Uh. When I opened my shop. Ah. So like, you used your collection to open the shop? Uh, pretty much. That's kind of sad, but also pretty awesome. Like, sad you had to sort of get rid of your stuff, but kind of awesome that you had the stock. <laughs> and then look what, well, look what it became. Pain in my ass. Pain in my ass, that's fair. I was going to his house. Can I actually just go in here? I can go in here! Something resembling progress. Yeah. Are you the Forest Guardian? Speak to me, nut. Do you know Kevin Smith, who's Silent Bob? Yeah. Hi, I'm the Forest Guardian. If you ever get stuck on your journey, come here for help. But first, you must find a weapon. Take the key and pre present. You will find eight presents on each world. Did you know you can save your game at... Any point by pressing start to open your inventory and then select pressing select? <gasps> yes, I did! <laughs> I figured that out myself. Green man, I can get myself a weapon. Well, open certain locked doors. That's nice. Anyway, Silent Bob, Silent Bob sold his entire comic collection to make clerks. No way. Mm. It's got that back. Yep. Ooh. Oh, it's just this world, okay. So, what are we doing with this? Have I got a weapon yet? What did he say about weapon? He said, I've got a key. Mm-hmm. I don't think he didn't say anything about weapon. Uh, oh, you need a weapon before I can help you. Oh, okay. I've got a key. Let's see what that does. And I'll step outside and then I'll save. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Awesome. Why are we having a better conversation on your channel? Because, I don't know. You were saving all the good questions for yours. You? <laughs> you prompted them, to be fair. So, maybe you're trying too hard for this channel. Maybe it's you. Maybe I'm just being a good friend. Maybe I was hoping you'd prompt the good questions on my channel. <laughs> I'm glad you died. <laughs> Bad friend. Oh. <laughs> Although we're finding a lot more about you. I'm pretty sure I've told you all of this because I do it. like talking about myself. Most of it. I didn't actually know you sold your like PS2 collection and stuff like that. To no, like the whole game collection, like oh, you're about, yeah. like a lot of 360 games. Oh yeah, like 360, of course, yeah, yeah. So what was the deal with Fable? Because I know Fable's like a big game for you. Fable's my favorite game. Oh right, is it, was that a start of anything, or did you just get it in the midst of your gaming bit and just think, oh, I really like this game? It must have been because I didn't have an Xbox before then. 
Mm. So yeah, and I just I just loved it. I loved everything about it. I loved everything it could have been because it kind of has like this unfinished game feel to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but everything about it, the mechanics, the fighting, it's also satisfying. Yeah, the choices. Is awesome. Um, I, I loved everything about it, and then Fable Two came out and it destroyed my faith in humanity. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, oh God, Fable Two was so good. I I felt exactly the same about Fable Two. No, you didn't, hard. Andrew. No, no one, two. no, nobody on the... Right, I know it's his channel, but I'm going to give you a little story <laughs> time here. Right, so I used to work in game, and every Tuesday they used to print out the the coming soon dates, because obviously they change over time. So we'd have this big printout, and they had codes next to them, so when we pre-ordered that game, we'd type in that code, etc. Et I heard Fable 2 was coming out, so every Tuesday I would look at this list, search for it, and it wouldn't be there first day it was, I highlighted it with a highlighter, put loads of arrows towards it and just told everyone about it. I read every article towards it, I looked at every piece of art towards it, I counted down the days for this game to come out. When it did come out, it was a week, got them a week before the release date. I would not shut up so much to my manager to the point where I was like, please can I have it, 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 please can I have it. He finally came and went, fine, don't tell anyone. And I could take it home and play it like a week before everyone else. Don't tell anyone. Ran, yeah, hello, internet. <laughs> uh, ran home, put it on, literally turned it on and went to move and I went, something's wrong. And that was it. From the moment I moved, I went, this isn't Fable. Innocent and I'd waited broken. at least a year for this game. Okay, yeah, that's pretty bad. That's, that's more hated than me. That is the reason why Peter Molyneux is on my list. <laughs> and not the good list. The bad list. The That's bad like list. not uh, not just not getting a Christmas card, like may actually have a bomb being posted to him. Actually. Literal bomb. I'm not saying that because if he ever gets like mail bombs. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, that's <laughs> it wasn't us. wasn't us at all. We don't like it, but we don't hate that much. No, I do. I'm just more cleverer than that. <laughs> oh, I was covering for you then. I'm cleverer than a mail bomb. You never see it coming. Oh, oh those things. Do. Those are annoying. I want Well, them. it has been over 10 minutes. Has it? It has. My story time entertained your lot so much. That's excellent because we've made so little progress in this Nothing's game. Nothing's happened. It's a good no, job I've, we've actually been I've talking. died a couple of times. That's been about it. Oh no, we talked to the Forest Guardian, so that was lovely. Mm -hmm. Oh, Christ, I'm back. Right, okay, well, awesome. Uh, we'll catch you again next time. Uh, where hopefully, next time will be tomorrow. Yeah. So hopefully, we'll actually get some progress done. I'm going to try and get into that house. That's my goal. Um, but until then, thank you for watching. Like if you liked it. Uh, actually, just like anyway. I'll just really appreciate it. We are a charity case. We are a charity case. This, so is, a, this is a major charity case. We'll take the pity. Yeah, I'll, I'll accept all pity. Pity's my favourite form of currency, so that's fine by me. But yes, uh, it's everything. We'll see you tomorrow. Have you asked them to subscribe? No. Please subscribe. It would be lovely of you to do so. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow anyway. Bye, bye.